For thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. Hallelujah. Hey, this is a stream so Joy International Daily Devotion brought to you by Priceless. And today is the 26th of April, 2023. Guess what topic it is? It will come to pass. Hallelujah. Our memory verse is taken from Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 12. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. Hallelujah. You see that thing you'll be waiting on God for. You see that thing you've asked God for and He's yet to do it. Now He's saying to you that He's going to hasten it to perform it. Do you know that His promises are yes and amen? Take this and make it your reality. Put it at the back of your mind. Keep on saying it, Lord. You said you're going to hasten your word to perform it. Hallelujah. He said, moreover, He said, instead of His word not to come to pass it's better heaven and earth pass away so you see the more reason why your faith mo must grow today hallelujah in our focus scriptures Zechariah was still asking questions about the vision he just saw do want to read Zechariah chapter 4 from verse 1 to 9 so you understand the whole story notice that this vision was a prelude to the rebuilding of the temple in Ezra chapter 1 in order for the word of the Lord through Jeremiah to be fulfilled God stirred up the spirit of Cyrus king of Pesha God spoke a word and at the time appointed for its fulfillment, he triggered a series of events that culminated in the fulfillment of Jeremiah's prophecy. So now you see this. God owns the heart of every king, every ruler, every boss, every person. So he can turn it in your favor. Do you understand? So whoever you think is not in favor of you, whoever you think is not working according to the way you want them to work, talk to God. God is the person you ought to talk to. When you talk to him, he has a way to make that which they are doing to come uh, in favor of you. Hallelujah. Friend, hear me as I hear the Lord. Every word that God has spoken concerning you is coming to pass in the name of Jesus. That promise that God made to you is coming to pass in the name of Jesus. The days of your waiting are over. The days of prophecy without fulfillment are over. The days of holding on to the word of the Lord without seeing the manifestation is over in the name of Jesus. God roused the spirit of Cyrus in order to make his word concerning the temple to come to pass. God steered the heart of a king to enable his word come to pass. May God steer the heart of kings in your favor today in the name of Jesus. Welcome to that new season where the word of the Lord concerning you will speedily come to pass. Welcome to that season where you will move from prophecy to manifestation in the name of Jesus. Let us declare the word of the Lord concerning my life is coming to pass in Jesus name. Amen. Amen and amen. Do have an amazing day and stay blessed. Hallelujah.